I thought I'd come on and make this video being it is fresh in my mind. I want to respond to a comment that was made on a video that I had made a while ago regarding Kevin Wesley. And the title of the video was ex pastor leaves the church says the Bible isn't real. Now, every now and again, I'll have someone that will come on one of my videos talking reckless and greasy about the Bible, about God, about the church, and even about the people of Yah. Without taking second thought that every idle word that they speak, everything that they do in this life is being recorded by recording angels. Now, I'm sure that there are some people that have not heard of recording angels. So you feel you can say and do anything you choose to without any type of repercussion or consequences. But the comment that was left 11 hours ago was this person that said, dude, the Bible is BS. He said the Bible is BS. Now, everybody is entitled to their own views and opinions, but every view and opinion is not to be spoken. Sometimes it's wise to keep your thoughts to yourself. It took energy for that person to click on the video just to comment to say that the Bible is BS. He is being used by his father, the devil, the father of lies. I'm going to read a few scriptures, a few short scriptures to you. I'm not going to be before you too long. The first scripture is taken from the book of Revelations, the 20th chapter, reading the 12th to the 14th verse. And this is referring to recording angels. It says, and I saw the dead. Now pay close attention to dead. There's a distinction between the dead and those names that were found in the book of life. And I saw the dead small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. There's a distinction between the books were open and then the book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead, Keep in mind, those which were dead. I'm going to start from the beginning. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Now, how would those books have that information of your works? And those works also include the things that come out of your mouth, the things that you speak and say, your confessions and testimonies. And testimonies aren't always a good thing. Your testimony could be that you curse the most high. But it said the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the book. The people of Yah don't die. The Bible always say that they are asleep. Because one day they will rise again. And it says which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written 
in the books according to their deeds. The 13th verse says, And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. The 14th verse says, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. The next scripture is taken from Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, reading the third to the fourth verse. And the glory of the God of Israel was gone up from the cherub, whereupon he was, to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. The fourth verse says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Now, who is this man clothed with linen? See, the Bible says, be careful how you entertain strangers. For some have entertained angels unaware, which means those angels came in human form. They look like you. They look like me. They may not be dressed as good as you, but they were sent by God. These are recording angels recording your deeds. So you will be held accountable for the things that you say and the things that you do. And you have people, so many people, that speak reckless about the things of Yah without taking second thought that one day they will meet their maker. The last and final scripture is taken from Malachi. The third chapter reading the 16th verse. And it reads as follow. Then they that feared the Lord spake upon one another. I'm going to start that again. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. And the Lord hearkened. In other words, the Lord listened to what those that feared the Lord had to say to one another. And heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. I'm going to read that again in case you missed it. Because the Bible is very specific on who is speaking to. Those that are damned and those that are cursed is very specific. See, many people, when they see the Bible and they say uh, the dead, they're thinking that they're included in that dead to be a part of the book of life. But that's not so. As I just finished reading. But the 16th verse says, Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. And the Lord hearkened. How did he hearken? How did he hear? How did he listen in? on what they were saying to one another. Well, among them could have been a recording angel. There's always an angel standing by recording your deeds, whether they slow down to be manifested as a human being or they're, they're moving according to their own speed, faster than light. Faster than time, you can't see them, but yet they're there. I recall growing up, you often hear adults say about the good and the bad angel. One on your right shoulder, one on the left shoulder. 
And they're whispering in your ears, one telling you to do good things, one telling you to do bad things. Well, you have a recording angel assigned to you 24-7. So even when you are doing damnable deeds, your deeds are being recorded. I'm going to read that 16th and final verse again. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him, a book of remembrance of everything that you speak among yourselves. And that's why I say a lot of things are not meant to be spoken out loud. Sometimes it's just best or wise to keep things to yourself, especially when you don't have good things to say. It says, and a book of remembrance was written before him. Who was recording or writing in this book of remembrance? A recording angel. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord. And that thought upon his name. So I'm going to end it right here. You got to be careful when you make comments on people's posts and videos. See, especially if you're coming under a ghost or a troll account. You don't have videos. You don't have photos. Uh, we can't see you. You refuse to identify yourself. And we really don't need to see you because God sees all things. See, you think you can make comments and not be seen, but God sees you and you wonder why disaster take root in your life. You wonder why so you wonder why your life appears to be cursed at times. Well, there's a book of remembrance, things that you do and things that you say. So feedback. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Click on the Cash App, the Chime, the Venmo, and support this channel. Until next time, I'm fearless.